peu court. Et ça va du test. They only need to see this part here. Okay, cool. So then, I'll move this down. So I should have my head here. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. All right. So first things first, I need I need to get myself into practice mode because that will help. Yeah. So my address this list of stuff you said. I'm, I'm gonna do the predictable thing here and gonna say this list isn't enough. You don't think the list is enough? Ah, oh, that's your. I don't want to know. I don't want to know too much things and make it complicated. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna dump everything ever on you, but a big thing you have been ignoring is heat dash and heat dash combos, not in combos. I mean heat dash launcher into the heat dash combo. I don't know. I don't see you doing dump back one plus two a lot for combos. You can confirm that thing. You can see if you sabaki something, you can get a combo out of that. Okay. Mid one plus two. That's a heat dashable launcher. Yeah. You don't do those a lot. Mm, you know what it is? I just, I don't, I'm not comfortable with doing like down one plus two and then running after them. I kind of, I kind of want it to hit. Get you know what I'm saying? Eh. But then I guess you're, I'm, I'm heavily plus if I do it that way anyways. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like, I don't about down one plus two, honestly. Hmm. I rarely use this one other than like when I know it's gonna kill either from it hitting or it bringing them to the wall where I can mix them to death. Downback mm -hmm. 1 plus 2 is really key and Hermit 1 plus 2 is really key. Everything else is kind of whatever. But these are really important because you don't have to commit to these ever. Because you do Downback 1 plus 2 and you can see if you Sabaki something. If you do Hermit 1 plus 2 it's obviously hit confirmable move. That means that you can check if you can get the heat dash. Which is very important stuff and like the reward on hermit one plus two is crazy at the very least like you're gonna have to start going for this as like the main goal of heat because uh... like when you enter heat probably Jeez, it's weird. not from the round starting or anything 76 damage you're probably gonna do that you know mid round when they're already pretty you know close to like half is life something like that and you're just gonna hit this on them they're gonna be dead or soon to be dead Mm. This is why Hermit 1 plus 2 is such an important move. Not just because it it's fucking broken, but because he heat dash launcher. Okay. So like when it comes to Sabaki, do you use Sabaki a lot or not really? Yeah. I, I use this a ton. Mostly because back two is now like five frame startup and I fucking hate it. Especially because down forward one is minus six. It's a but five frame coincidentally. Startup. Coincidentally. Down back one plus two keeps its old startup of four frames to twenty frames. So yeah, back two is shit. I don't really like it, but if it has its places where you want to use it, you know, obviously, because you still do the parry and the launch on some things. But down back one plus two is kind of key for the specific frame trap kind of parries where you're expecting them to jab check you or down forward one check you. Uh okay. So I didn't know that parry was five frame startup, you know. I thought it was three. Yeah. No, I mean, it's fr from Hermit, it's still three. But they also shortened the window to 15 rather than 20 frames. So it's, it's a much shorter window and it starts off later. Except in Hermit, it starts off the same time. So it's three to 15 in Hermit and it's five to 15 normal. Yeah, it, it's a, it's still a 10 frame window, which for a parry is more than normal. But I, I don't obviously like that. But mm. it is what it is. It's it's not garbage, but yeah. Up forward one is still like the way to go for parrying just because it's still broken. This is, by the way, six frames startup other than, uh, rather than uh, four frames like it used to be. Okay. But that's that's kind of negligible, I feel. I haven't felt the difference almost at all with it. So. Okay, what about like. So what about up back two? Up back two is still really good. It's just. It's. It's got a weird overlap with down back one plus two. So I, I mainly use this against Steve because Steve is going to punish me either way. Like this is punishable these days. So I might as well do up back two sometimes. They're equally unsafe. And if I, you know, if you hit the Sabaki on this, it's a lot of reward. It's 45 damage. That's that's a lot from a Sabaki for t minus 10, 20 frames Sabaki. 
This is okay. this is the fastest Mitsu Bucky in the game, I think, still. It's a really good move. It just overlaps with this move almost all the goddamn time. Mm, okay. So, like, when it comes to, like, mid-pokes and stuff like that, what would you say are the good mid-pokes? Because I, I think the one thing that's kind of giving me a problem is I don't want to use down one plus two. I feel like I tried to reserve heat. Yeah. Uh, is that a good mindset like to reserve the heat or should kind i just let let just let go of it whenever you get it kind of i haven't really figured that out myself but like i do fish for down one plus two just to get heat on and then i just throw all of my chip damage on them and then i'll either try to kill them with the mix up or i'll do like a heat dash into mix up or whatever the hell like mm. if the main goal with the heat is to chip them anyway so it it, it it is kind of something you'd want to do when they're low on health, but then you run into the wall of like, well, if they hit rage, the chip, chip stops mattering because you don't really get chip anymore, not too much anyway. So this is why so, this is the whatever, problem. You know? This that's the that's the problem that I'm facing because I generally don't know. I'm sitting here and I, I I really don't know whether my game plan of saying let me save heat until when it gets to half bar is nah. correct or if that, I that should... that is incorrect. You might want to hmm. save heat for like. A little bit into the round you don't want to do it when they like have like half the health or something unless you catch them with a launcher early on in which case i mean obviously they're gonna lose a lot of health from that that's just mm. what how it goes but you do want to get into heat and you do want to get there fast and then you want to dump everything on them don't give them a turn don't let them do anything this is where down back one plus two becomes broken because obviously you know you do hermit one plus two what do they do down forward one check your minus nine down forward one gets caught by this they're launched, they're dead. This mm. is why down back one plus two is so stupid in this game. Uh, so like, all right, what are your go-to heat engagers for when you want to use? Cause obviously every character has, or from what I know, every character has five. But like, what is your mindset for like the, f I, I would, when I usually play cover characters, I always think of like the two or the three that I would use. Do you, do you ever think like that, or you just don't care? It's just whatever one. Uh, I mean, it kind of, sort of. In Hermit, it's obvious, because anytime I press this, it's going to be followed by this until <laughs> the opponent does something about it. And if the opponent does something about it, I mean, I'll probably, you know, mix in this, mix in this, the usual. So, uh... you know, the obvious for Hermit. Uh, you can't do this forever, which means that, yeah, this is actually a really good button to have as a mix-up for that, especially because it's also a heat engager. So it's pretty much those two. Down back one plus two enters the mix a lot because, you know, Leroy parrying and whatnot. But I think it's more common for me to use this as the heat dash thing rather than just throwing it out there as like a parry read. I, mm. I prefer the step stuff because this game actually has a side step for Leroy. Mm. What a concept. One plus two, one plus two, one. If it happens to work, it works, especially at the wall because of the fun times that can happen there. Like, this is a heat engager that I want to hit because, you know, they die. And that's always a good thing to happen. Oh, shit. Show me that again. What the hell was that? I mean, it's, it, funnily enough, the, da the damage isn't even the key part of that. It just looks cool. Like, you can do more by doing that unironically. Well, I, I could even show... It does do more damage than just do a QCF2. I just do that because it's fun. And, well, also because I haven't even practiced the QCF2. Okay. Oh, I didn't delay that, but that would be like 104 damage, which is more. But what I did there is I just sidewalk, and then I just do the whole 2-1-2-1 two, one, two, one string. And sometimes it does that. I, I really don't know why and when, but I don't know. I just like doing this. I wouldn't recommend this to necessarily anyone, but it, you know... It's wow, fun. That shit looks crazy. Like, if, if you can figure out the timing, please do let me know. Because that, that combo looks so sick. <laughs> oh, it's fun, God. but it's not optimal. I mean, it is, again, I say that, but it is theoretically optimal. Because if you do some, you, you can do some conversions off of this. Because, of course, you can. It's can Tekken. It. The combo system is stupid. If you sit here and figure out things for days on end, like oh, I do. But, yeah, if that connected, that would be, I think that's 107 or something. I don't know. The depths of this are 
infinite because tech and combo system. But that is what it is. 1 plus 2, more situational than down back 1 plus 2 or down 1 plus 2 or Herbic 1 plus 2, honestly, in my opinion. This just happens mostly as a punisher or if I happen to get them to the wall somehow without me already having activated heat. And now I'm, you know, I'm glossing over the, you know, outlier. Forward, four, four. This thing sucks. This is garbage. This is trash. Yeah, I can't. It's actually, use that. the worst. Yeah. I can't use, I it's can't good use. as a death fist punish, I guess. And even then, if you get death fist, that just learn four, to do four, that. Two. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Four, four, two would be the easy one. The, but I guess the lazy punish is forward, four, four. Yeah, for for something like Victor's FF two, like it's more understandable because then you have like. You have a one less frame to do FF22. It becomes kind of difficult execution-wise because it's only minus 16. So this is kind of understandable. But here's the here's the kicker: if fucking Victor hits you with specific t uh, spacing with the FF2 forward four one three and reach the FF2 will. So uh, I don't even know. This move is really weird in his arsenal. It always was. It always for me just overlapped a ton with ff2 and then in the later parts of tekken 7 i was starting to figure out like hey at the wall this is really good because it throws them into the wall hmm. in this game it's a heat engager it doesn't fucking throw them anywhere it's really bad because of that and especially as a heat dash launcher it does no damage uh... you have to do a different combo like yeah sure the damage number is big but if i do ff2 too that's that's the same number that's going to be on the screen after an FF22 and it doesn't spend my heat bar. Mm. You know? So like, okay, cool. So would you say that you, I think my main problem is I playing Leroy like I, I like I would in Tekken 7 and I don't think that works in Tekken 8. Yeah, no, he's, he's not as counter hit based in offense as he was in 7. Cause in 7 you fished with this because it was a counter hit mid like, not not a, not like Brian three plus four, but similar frames, similar usage. It's just that he would actually get to do stuff after because you know lesser counter hit reward. I guess was the logic, minus four versus minus thirteen and all that. But mm. I mean, in this game, you fish for it once and then never again because as soon as you hit it, it becomes okay as a move and not really anything beyond that because it doesn't have a counter hit property in this game, obviously. And then you know. If you're going to do it ever after getting heat, it's going to be to heat dash it probably, which it does work as a nice, you know, really long range, 17 frame plus five launcher, but it is one use. So it is kind of weird to me in that sense, which is why I don't use this as my main mid, actually. Standing free. I use this as my main mid. 444? Four, four. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely my main mid. Because with this, if you hit it, uh, they have no options. They have or plus nine. They literally cannot do anything. You do this, they they have no options unless they have a reversal. In which case, I mean, do a low. I wish he had a throw from this stance to kill those reversals, but we work with what we have. It, I've, I've I mean, been saying that, you know. I think I do think Leroy needs like a throw from him, Hermit. I don't know why. Yeah. Like even if it's I, a one plus two break, whatever. No, I don't no care. he he should have his one plus two from Hermit. Uh, Azucena has it from her stance, and her stance functions almost identical to Hermit. That would be a that would be a flipping sick idea, you know. Hermit for like doing up forward one plus two throw from Hermit. That would be sick. Yeah, I mean, uh, I I think the frames would have to be adjusted. I think it would have to be a fourteen frame startup or something. Otherwise, you would get a really strong frame trap from your ten frame. But then again, don't we want Hermit to be really strong? Isn't that the point of this game? That's what I'm saying. That's how I've been. Yeah, how, how I've been feeling it. So. It, if it was a 12 frame throw it actually probably wouldn't be that broken all right cool. either way ff4 all the time and if it doesn't hit you can either cancel out okay i would recommend canceling out because it is minus nine on cancel which is notable it's the only hermit transition at all that is completely safe okay so you're you're entirely safe if you cancel out which lets you check the opponent what do they do afterwards because mm. after all you're not minus nine really you're minus four actually because in stance you have the options uh... these being the options and this is something that still requires a lot of thinking the problem here is that they buffed the sidestep but only a little bit so i'm still trying to get used to seeing what exactly can i do with it but there have been times when i do this i step something and just there they go they're they're gone the, the sidestep doesn't allow you to do sidestep four does it 
I can see. Uh, no, it's a it's a specific command site that. Yeah, I thought so. so. No. It, it only has this move. And it's... Ah, that's kind of annoying. Unless I sidestep and sidestep again, then these sidestep for. Yeah, you can do double step, which mm. is uh, actually genuinely good part of this. You can do a double step. Uh, okay, so all right, so. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm understanding now where I'm where I'm going wrong because I think the first thing that is, is like I have to accept that I'm playing the character wrong, and that's where I've come to. I've come to accept that I'm playing the character wrong. Like I'm playing him Tekken Seven and getting angry because I am not getting the results that I should be getting. And yeah. now I'm seeing from what you're saying and. I, I kind of have a game plan of how I think he needs to be played. So I think instead of me thinking to save heat midway in a match or round, I think I just need to just go crazy and then just fish for down one plus two. Like whenever I get mm. heat, I would just get heat. Yeah. Uh, and if the one down one plus two doesn't work out, that's obviously because they're blocking mid. And you know what we do to those? It's, yep. Yep. it's not, not too hard to figure out because, oh boy. Oh boy. Yep. And now you're in heat and now they die, etc. And this is where I think the problem lies is because every every time when I'm playing, I'm trying to chip them down with down back three and back three. It's like, well back three is never gonna work. I don't I like I'm I'm starting to just like use it less and less. I use it every now and then. It's just like a, hey, I have a long range homing thing, why not throw it out? Mm. It's good against Yoshi only, and if you read like a spin Otherwise, against the Yoshi, this is just as dumb as anyone else. Yeah, I was I was thinking that because when I throw when I throw that out against like top level players, I'm like, hmm, they're Dude, ducking it. I, I fucking Jod is already reacting to this. This is annoying. Yep, yep. That's why I don't. That's why I'm like I'm trying to train myself, not really to use it because I know by maybe in six months time or even a year. When we're still, when everyone's playing the game, they're gonna be able to react and duck, and then probably probably even launch. So I don't want to get into the habit of using this now to kind of scrub out everyone. But then when it comes to later on, do you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm trying my hardest not to use that. What do you think about these next two moves that I'm gonna tell you? Back one and back four. What do you think about those moves? Uh, back four is a tragedy. Uh, it it. People have said to me, like, oh, it has nerfed range. It doesn't. This game has better hitboxes. Uh, ah. Funnily enough, it has the same range as 7. It just doesn't connect as it did in 7 because of hitbox stuff. Uh, the problems with back 4 are kind of evident. It's low damage. If you compare it to other moves of its kind, like Reina, F uh, Reina back 2, where she also has the same pushback on hit situation, but she has forward 4 too, so it negates that as a problem. You look at Lars back one, he doesn't recover a mile away from the opponent. That's a big plus for him. Mm. You look at fucking Jun down for three. Is it even fair to compare to that? Because <laughs> that's Leroy's old back four if it was a wall spot instead of a ballerina spin. Oh yeah, oh, shit, I forgot. Did back four use the ballerina spin in Tekken 7, the last season? Uh, not in the last season. And... I, th I think the one previous to that, I forget when they took away the walls, but it may have been the last one or the one previous. Okay. The, for the most part, it did wall splat for a, quite a while. Interesting. Okay. I think I think this should just get a counter hit wall splat. Now for back one, this is still a good move. This hasn't stopped being a good move. You mm. just have to use it in a weird way, in the same way that a lot of levers counter hits work. Well, all of them at this point, because this doesn't exist anymore. The, his counter hits are defensive. You can't fish for them from frame traps, really. Unless you like, like you can do two one on hit into this, and it does work if people are mashers, and that's fine and all. Mm. But this is pretty much like the only one that's good to do that with, because one one is so steppable, so easy to read. If you you know you're expecting Leroy to mash, it's always the same direction. You walk to the left. It's never gonna change, is it? So one one back one plus two back one they all lose to that so you have to think mm -hmm. a little bit more with your counter hits there is no frame situation where you're not going to get that shit stepped because first of all he's built that way second of all even for some weird reasons if you do like forward three in the back one plus two you know that's still like back dashable i mean mm. kind of makes sense because range and stuff but still i don't like it but you kind of have to like it back one works fine obviously but again the usual problems apply it's a high 
He's kind of meant to do things defensively counter hit wise. You're supposed to look for timings and peep, you know, this is like a keep out sort of move. It has the alt magic four recovery on it. It recovers really fast on whiff. Mm. So you're not going to die for this kind of keep out unless you do this. And even then they might just run into that on accident trying to whiff punish, honestly. Mm. It's like, this is fast. But as a frame trap, obviously it's it's gotten worse because of 13 frames, but it's not unusable. It's fine. And you can't really you can't really say that it's shit when it, ha it has zero recoverable damage. 45, just straight up, that's actually really good reward. Okay. So, all right. So, oh, man, this is making so much sense now to me. I feel like, yeah, I, I almost feel like I am almost certain that I'm going to do a lot better today playing this character. I could just, I kind of got the game plan of things that, I was doing wrong like this down one plus two move i just need to just throw it out like just just throw it i don't throw it out ev ever i only throw it out if i want to heat engager which i think is dumb it doesn't make sense yeah it's it's you're gonna have to think of it as like your main mid poke which kind of sucks 17 frames but it is what it is like you have down forward four still uh, as a mid poke but you know minus six or minus nine if you do the string or was it minus eight whatever the hell it is down forward one kind of sucks. Forward three kind of sucks. Like you have these fast pokes, they don't really go anywhere except for standing three. But even that starts at 15 frames. Standing three still has a lot of advantage mentally because people don't want to eat the counter hit, especially near the wall. Because it, even it, fucking, especially in this game, because mm. you can do conversions like that if this invisible wall fucks me so hard. You can do conversions like this in this game, so oh, it's shit. a lot whoa, better whoa, in this whoa, game. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. Let, let me let me just see this, what you just done again. Oh, uh, I mean, that, in Tekken that 7, you could crazy. do that, but in Tekken 7, it was obviously shittier because you, you got uh, like this, which who cares? That's a Garbo in this game because, you know, this is a spin move. Mm. If this wasn't Ling, this would be a lot more consistent. Yeah, she's like just the shortest pickup. character, right? Yeah, uh, I, I like to do a heat burst here if I have heat, just because it also does this. So then I get to do this, and then this, and then this, and that's a yeah, pretty huge buff wrong. to this move in I'm, this game. I'm playing the game. I'm playing this character wrong. Like, all this stuff you're showing me, I need to be at that level so then I can show you stuff. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm not at that yeah. level at all. Like, and I'm fully okay to admit it. Like, I'm not at it. I'm still playing this character. Like yeah, uh, seven. Th three is probably a poke you should also put a lot of uh, thought into because, as I said, mental advantage and it, it genuinely matters, especially at the wall and in the open. Since he has a f actual steel pedal now, it does you know a rewarding amount of damage from that, which is nice. So like, not only because of that, but also the confirm, and also not because just oh, that. This is fully homing the sidestep right. Mm -hmm. This is what you do when people start going in that direction. Because there are reasons to go in that direction. Down 1 plus 2 doesn't track that direction. This tracks sidestep left, right? So people will sidestep right eventually. Which is... This is fully homing there. You will never have to worry about anyone escaping it. Which... Funnily enough, we have Ling here, don't we? <laughs> the best character to show this with. Because <laughs> this is your anti-AOP button, by the way. And it tracks AOP, and it will track sidestep right AOP. If they do the AOP crouch, would that would it go under? Hell no, it okay. hits it. This is f actual anti AOP. Like they are never getting away from this, no matter what they do. Okay. Like I just recorded sidestep right into AOP. Like this is how I've been like dealing with Chang Bang. Okay. Okay, I mean, pushback is its own thing, but that is whatever. <laughs> the funny thing is, even if it whiffs because of, like, pushback, mm. there's that low for them to worry about. Unless they do an instant hop kick. But, okay. you know, that's just Tekken. Right, so... Okay, so, alright. From what... Alright, so you know we're talking about wall stuff. Yeah. What stuff would you use for wall pressure? And what wall combos would you use? Uh, usually I just uh, go into Hermit and they just kind of die. Uh, mostly because of this existing. Uh, like legit, I don't think I've done anything at the wall other than this. 
because I really why would I why would I do anything other than this <laughs> it works that's crazy the the problem is his mid splats don't exist anymore goodbye rest in peace I think that's because of the hermit though right uh, maybe I'm not I have no idea what the logic is on this I still don't understand I guess he got a really good armor move but also they made sure to make it not that good because no splat mm. I would prefer it to be like an unsafe splat that I could fish for but hey we do have unsafe pl uh, splats to fish for uh, this thing down back one too this is something I use occasionally as a mix-up just because what the fuck am I gonna press that's gonna actually splat Fuck, but that's minus 13 though, no? 12. Uh, 12? Yeah, you're not getting shouldered by Feng. That's actually a huge, huge deal. Wait, There's not a lot of characters 12? getting heat engagers on this, which is big. Actually, Holy nobody's shit. getting a heat engager. It is. Yeah, All right, so what, uh, so what about down back? All right, what about down back one, one plus two? Do you ever really use that or there's no really need? Uh, oh yeah, I, I should have probably mentioned this is one of my kind of one of my key pokes i specifically use it like from this range where it's kind of back dashable because i mean it has a lot of range first of all but this is a notable string in tekken 8 because a lot of strings lost their counter hit properties okay like claudio's back 3-3 three, three doesn't counter hit launch stuff like that okay this kept every counter hit launch that it has i don't know how and why but like this is still a counter hit launcher this is still a counter hit launcher. I don't know how, but we we still have these. Holy this shit. makes this a really strong string for like people not wanting to press into it on with. Because a lot of people that do press into it on with, they they will notice immediately. Especially if you whiff it from here, and they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna run in." And it's like, "No, you're not." Ah, uh, so you could just whiff this, kind of like yeah. to make people think, okay. And then just let go of it, like maybe in round two or round three or something like that. Or whatever. Yeah, and the string itself is not even that bad. Like, Dalbuck 1 3 has good reward. Dalbuck 1 2, good reward. Dalbuck 1 1 plus 2, obviously that requires a counter hit still. But here's a thing that's kind of not really told to you by the game. I don't know why they still haven't put these into the game, but this has a counter hit property, this uh, Dalbuck 1. These become counter hit confirmable. All of them. Oh, shit. That's a combo from that delay. These are all counter hit confirmable from down back one. Whoa. This is this is rare tech. This is something that only I really seem to utilize. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Like, none of these combo if you delay them unless the first hit counter hits, in which case they all become confirmable. Now, down back one, two, and down back one, one plus they have this annoying thing where the last frame of the delay isn't a combo anymore. But, like, I mean, I'm having trouble hitting the last frame of the delay, so... Mm. It, it's just annoying. It's not like a deal breaker, I feel. Down back 1-3, however, is always just a counter hit combo. And it's really easy to confirm. And it's plus 8 on hit. Down 1, down one plus 2 frame trap. Big deal. So I've got to learn how to... Hit. Basically, what you're saying is I've got to learn how to hit confirm that with you. Leroy seems hard in this game, though, man. <laughs> Anakin made a difficulty tier list where he placed Leroy in the same tier of difficulty as Brian, Lee, Steve, and Kazuya. There we go. At least he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, I, I do always say Leroy is probably the easiest character to pick up in this game. He is also probably the hardest. Yeah, no, I think he's hard. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I, I've been thinking, like, bro, like, with all the stuff that you're telling me now... Like I can understand why I thought it was hard, but I couldn't exp I couldn't really explain why. I, I yeah. can explain like the the easy way of it, but now like looking at all of this stuff, like the hit confirmables from down back one, like that, that's a that new good great. thing that I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to get like learning. Obviously, mind frames from doing magic free, but I'm kind of happy that he's this hard. To be fair. But yeah, it, it's funny because like these were all the weirdo specialist things that I was like putting time into figuring out in Tekken 7 mm. and then this game just accidentally made them like some of the most relevant stuff for the character by removing down forward one easy mode poking and it's like, oh great, I'm already used to this. Yeah. And it's, it's, Oh yeah, down 4-4, four four, I told you about this. This is a counter hit confirmable low mid 
you, you gotta get used to using this because down back three isn't gonna cover everything forever yeah so this this is strong as hell especially because minus one down forward one trade with the back one plus two so <laughs> if they get too happy with the buttons hmm how easy as you know is it down, down forward one trade is going to give you a launch and i mean a big actual proper launch launch unscaled let me see if Leroy's down for it, one for it works for it. I assume yes. Because, you know, trade situations are what they are. You kind of have to lab them to know them, but eventually you can just kind of know things. I bet you this is why it's minus. Yep. Yep, there you go. Uh, just like Jin's Magic 4. Oh my gosh, wait. Uh, I've been using this every now and then, like still trying to get used to it oh, it doesn't add a ton of damage to this but i mean like that is closer to tekken 7 damage isn't it what the fuck? wait so if you do down down four and the opponent does down four, down four one. one check and th this obviously works off of anything like if you do three three you're if they don't eat the counter hit three three are you oh right I'm stupid. 3-3 uh, three, three is plus 2 on hit. It's not a lot, but it is a jab and dick jab frame trap. Both of them, mm. if you back 1 plus 2, you can get down for 2, 1 plus 2. Mm. So you have to consider trades sometimes, especially with back 1 plus 2. And the, the key to that is just being aware where the frames are with the back 1 plus 2 trade, because if it's small enough frames, it's probable that it was a down forward one or a jab or a dick jab and you know in that case you might as well try for this otherwise i mean it's fine to just stick to the old qcf2 pickup because even then if you trade with a jab the funny thing is you are you know at enough advantage wait how do i okay uh you are at enough advantage to do the thing with the qcf2 instead of just uh, down forward two how do i set this up what? Wait, no, I need to be plus two. So, okay, there goes my QCF2. QCF2 is gonna give a full launch here, because jab, but that's jabs only, dick jabs, and pretty much most things aren't going to do that, so. So wait, so, all right, so you see if you got count here, uh, back one plus two, um, not with a trade, just normally, would you then do the machine gun punch, like one plus two, one plus two, one? Never, never. Uh, I mean, at the wall, because, you know, I showed you that wall combo. That mm. That is a thing to go for. Uh, this is a wall tool now, every now and then, if you feel like it. Mm. I still haven't really started utilizing it because I'm too busy winning the games. Mm. Uh, but maybe eventually this will be required for the walls. Who knows? But, yeah, no, it's always going to be this combo. This is just not going to drop unless it's a bear. And yeah, 54, 54 it's damage. 54 is not a lot. But who cares? The 12 frame counter hit launcher mid in a game where those aren't allowed. And also, if you get the wall, you're, you're still doing proper Lero damage if you get the wall with this. Like, mm. honestly. Mm. We can't scoff at this damage, honestly. From a 12 frame mid counter hit launcher. Interesting. That's still almost whole half bar. Damn. All right. So, two things that I probably need. Lastly, is the combos. So, four four two combo and while standing two combo. Yeah, those are pretty much shared. I mean, they have different recoveries. This is plus fifty one. This is plus fifty five. It doesn't really matter either way. Besides step left QCF two down forward four three four three one plus two four. And, you know, people have been having issues with this, because what do I do? I accidentally sidestepped too far. My forward 3, 1 plus 2 is wonky. Yeah. I mean, you can recognize when it becomes wonky. You have to step really far left. Mm. Like, it's still working, sort of. If they had longer legs like Victor, that would have still worked. Now, if you think you might have gone too far left, you can always salvage with down back 1, 2. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. That is still over 70 damage. That's fine. So you do down forward three one to catch them with the one, and then do up forward three plus four one. But okay. Yeah, it's it's the same damage as a two jab, but like it recovers them closer, so I have to dash less. Mm -hmm. So it's you know less thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, like, yeah, I barely yeah. even have to dash that in. Whereas with the two jab, you actually have to do a pretty proper dash still. So you don't do the the jab, dash, forward, uh, back, three, plus, four combo? No. I mean, I've told you the reasoning. It's it's an it's an ender that leads to, like, nothing. No Oki, no nothing. I'd rather do this. It gives you the running shoulder. You're plus, like, 13 on them. Most people are still eating the running shoulder, so why not? Holy shit. That's yeah, crazy. for 3 plus 4, uh, 1 plus 2 has a new, like, pushback animation on the aerial hit, which throws them all the way over there. So you're pretty much always going to just get a guaranteed running shoulder. A lot of people that don't like that, they stay on the ground instead of trying to avoid it. So it's free damage. Good Oki. Interesting. All right. I think I'm ready, man. I think I'm ready for the, the world of ranked matches, man. I think I'm ready. Well, uh, lastly as well, actually, before I forget. So... Down forward three plus four. Do you do you ever use that out in the open? Eh, sometimes. I told you about the Horang thing. I mentioned uh, like I'm still in the middle of like thinking about all of the applications to this because they'd have to be really dumb like Azazena's forward four string because mm. this is the this is the heat engager homing mid high thing that has the Dumb cancels. Mm. It's got it's got the mid cancel. It's got the high cancel. Uh, if she does any of this, it doesn't matter for Leroy. She can she can just get fucked. Uh... This, this goes under this, and it counter hits both of these. So these are for those mid high moves that are kind of got like they kind of got gaps in between them. It's not like the quick ones. It's like the slow uh, ones. Yeah, it de it depends. It it might be for moves like that. And there was a thing on Twitter uh, where you know someone showed uh, Lee's forward three three four. You can always punish that with Lee right now. You will always get the launch. Lee players can no longer just try to cheese out their hit confirms because this thing. Mm -hmm. Minus 18. Wouldn't wouldn't that be quite the coincidence with for my super high crush launcher? This will always go under this. You just mash it out. It's a free launch every time. I don't even care if it's less damage than doing the normal stuff. Like th this punishes even a float, which means uh, you do the cane combo for this. But. It's a punish every time. Can't really go wrong. Bruh. It's better than guessing, right? Because you either down for two of this or you eat the high. Otherwise, right? I don't like that. So I'll just take the launch every time. There's still a lot of research to be done on where exactly we can put this. But all I know so far is Azuzena string, this thing, and Horang's Flamingo jabs kind of die to this really hard. And if, like, Devil Jins or other Mishimas like to do 1-1 one, one into 1-1 one, one because they want to abuse their minus 1 thing, uh, this kind of deals with that too, which is fun. So it's kind of like a specialist tool in that way, I suppose. Yeah. Okay! Yeah, wait, 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 wait. I need to write that combo down. That, is that just oh. a basic combo? So that's like... It's, some, it's max damage, but I don't like it because it doesn't give you... There's no spots for a heat burst or anything, really. Whereas uh, if I have, like if I need extra wall carry, then what am I going to do with that? I can't do anything, so I do prefer the low parry thing. But it is max damage. If I'm in Yakushima or on this stage, I might as well do this every time. So that is forward two, four, three. Sides the right forward two three four. Otherwise, that doesn't actually do anything. Two four three, uh, two three up forward three plus four one plus two. This I works on everyone, know. including bears, which really shocked me because they're you'd think their short legs wouldn't even be caught by the up forward three plus four, but it works. Yeah, this is this is the stuff I need to learn, man. This is the stuff I need to learn. Yeah, comp combo optimization is always a thing for any character, but for Leroy especially because. You know, yeah, you and everyone else has that problem of Tekken 7 kind of babies you with the combos where it's like you can just get through with down back 1-3 for the rest of your life in Tekken 7 and then this game comes out and it's like, oh, I'm doing no damage. <laughs> Lero has the worst combo damage. It's... There's a lot to learn. New system, new everything. 
All right, cool. All right, well, Dusty, I appreciate you, man. I'm going to go into ranked, man. But I Good. appreciate the help. But yeah, we're GOD just... today. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. We're going to we're gonna try it. We're going to try to see what we can do, bro. Yeah, and I'll be watching, judging silently. <laughs> Probably not silently. <laughs> All right, cool, man. Take it easy, bro. I'll shout you, man. Yeah, see. All right, safe, man. All right, cool, chat. So, yeah, we're going to... We're gonna get into it, man. We're gonna go. We're gonna try and go for this, this rank. 